about a uh, what turns out to be an important issue uh, with many people is uh, system security, and a lot of that's tied to the uh, user account. And I highly recommend that everyone um, have a, at least have a password on their user account and set up other user accounts on their computers for other people that may use the machine, including the uh, guest account. It can avoid a lot of problems and keep your stuff safe. And it can also, having your own user account allows you to configure your machine the way you like to use it and uh, allows others to uh, do likewise. As you can see here, I have very little, uh, very few things in the dock, and I don't really li like keeping much stuff around. And my computer is otherwise very touchy to use. Um, and most people are better off with a um, with their own version. So I'll show you how to do that both on the on the PC and Mac. And I find the uh, system preferences on a Mac to get to um, create a new account. You just go to System Preferences, which is in the uh, Apple. You click the Apple and go to System Preferences. Of course, you can also get there by searching for it with the uh, with Spotlight by clicking here and typing an account. You can get there. You can also get there from any Finder window, which is the equivalent of um, Windows Explorer, and you can type in the word Applications here. Uh, system Preferences, there it is. There, uh, I highly recommend using uh, this index search. It's the fastest way to find anything. But in the beginning, it's a good idea to kind of kick around the uh, old school way and see what's there. Anyway, we go to um, System Preferences. This is the uh, Mac version of what of uh, the control panel. And we go to Accounts. And click the lock to make, uh, to make changes here. I have to enter my administrator password to make changes. And then I'm going to uh, add an account. To add an account, you just click this little plus button down here. And the new name will be OSLC Mac. Short name. Password will be that. Uh, with the password hit you can uh, put it in there if you like some some people don't let, don't recommend leaving password hints but if you uh, if you want to I'd like to leave a hint that uh, just put OLC for the hint and then file vault protection is a a, a system that uh, Mac uh, that Mac has what it does is it, it encrypts all the files and then decrypts them as you use them so other people on networks and so forth, for example, if you're in, you know, if you're in in a, in a public network, you'll be able to get to it. It's an actual way to secure the system. It uses up a little more memory. It's a little slower. I'm not going to turn it on for um, for this account. So I'm going to create this account, and this is a standard account as opposed to administrator account. And there you go. Now, if later I want to make this into an administrator account, I can just click this. I can enable uh, parental controls. And for a Mac, MobileMe, something that uh, I review separately, which is an online service, I highly recommend getting it. You can just enter your information there, and it will take in um, all of your um, information. And you can, of course, change the picture. One of the system pictures will use... Lightning, and that is on the Mac. And then click this to prevent any changes. And now we'll go over to the PC, and I'll show you how to do it there. On the PC, you have to uh, go into the control panel and go into Users. Here again, you can use the quick search. You can type in Users. All right. Okay, PC is not always cooperative. So here's user accounts when you type in user. There it is. It works for the quick search. Again, this is why I think Vista is worth it. Um, by itself, is this quick search. You can find stuff really quickly. But anyways, this 
resides in the control panel. You click here, and then you find user accounts in this list. There it is, right there. And manage another account. You can ask if I want to continue. You continue. And here it is. Here's the guest account. I can turn this guest account uh, account on. Mac also has a guest account, and that way, just people who use your computer every once in a while, you may want to let them use them, uh, can do so. Then click here, create a new account, and then you just type the account name in there and, and you know and fill it out. And there you go. This way, they're all the file directories, your documents folder, and all those other folders will be fresh and new for each each new user. And I think that's a um, a great way to uh, keep things organized and keep things separate. And I highly recommend you uh, turn on both passwords and if you other people use your computer, maybe at home or whoever, uh, the guest account. And if anyone uses your computer regularly, I certainly recommend creating them their own account to keep things separate I think as a matter of ethics it may be relevant as well so thanks for watching